Hold on, that's my face is too bright. Let's solve that problem. There we go. Maybe even down there, just to just to take into account for the nice sunny Sunday we've got. <clears throat> Morning. It's Ryan from Immaterial Gamers. Who seems to be losing his throat. Hmm. Or his voice. However, he plugs on. Because it's fine. I'm all good. I, wor I work a 9 to 5 over the week that doesn't re really require me to say a single damn thing. So, you know. We can do breaks. Now. <clears throat> Can we get, as I've put as the title of the stream, are we going to actually get to hunt for treasure? Well, let's find out, shall we? Because it is now time to actually search the rune barrows. No. <laughs> Not exactly. Not just yet. I just realized something. Um, we've got some money. We got bronze ore, didn't we? Not for them. Go to the weapon shop. Oh, it's uh, Yeti whiskers we need for, for that, but bronze ore we need for... armor. Like that. I mean, not available for purchase. Well, it's available for purchase for me. Okay, and then the mercenary armor for... <coughs> for Garou. Air step. Oh, right, okay. And then Garou can now... Charge more. Perfect. We're getting... We're getting... Updated abilities to do stuff. Right, so we go to the smithy now. No, we still can't. Okay, fair enough. Right, we got ourselves ready to go. So let's get ourselves in the farm side men here. And do it. To the rune barrows. Which we now have a... Uh, Oh, what's it called now? Oh, we also actually have our way out of the rune barrows for some reason. Oh, actually, I can assume we can't. Oh, hi. I do less damage to these. Is that right? I can assume that's the case. Yeah. Now, ow. That's fine. We got some more exploring to do at some point, I guess. So if I do that, it's cool. And then we Garu. Whoops. Right, let's actually explore the room barrows then, shall we? <clears throat> get the criticals in. Start with the link attack and then move on from there. Calling down lightning. You know, because that's what you do. Just call down all the lightning. Boink. Whack. Okay, we got ourselves into the next door. It's fine. Just while I'm also, I'm just turning down my headset a little because, uh... the fact that I'm just, just talking over it. Alright. A dead end, huh? Another man here. Think we can use it? Only one way to find out. Make with the rune lens already. You're not nervous? 
No? We got lucky last time and ended up near enough to town. No idea where this one will take us, though. That's part of the fun, though, isn't it? Fun, huh? Getting dropped into the ocean or headfirst onto a rock doesn't sound like my idea of fun. You're a scavenger, ain't you? Can't you scavenge around and find, like, a hidden bridge or something? There's got to be a safer way through somewhere, no? Always take the path of most resistance. That's what my family says. Thanks a lot, Hogan. Fine, anything be beats being lost at this rate. That's the spirit, I think. Onward! Okay, right, so... Uh-huh. Success! <laughs> oh god. Snow Peak? Whoa. Snow? Cold. I d d d don't do well in the cold. <clears throat> Yaru, look. We can see you never from here. Alright. That one t t takes us to a snowy mountain. C got it. L let's go home. Not a chance. There must be a reason this men here was put here. There could be a hidden entrance to the barrows around somewhere. Let's take a look. Yeah. Hurry up then. A snow peak, a snow capped mountain which towers over New Never. Creatures with the power of ice call this frozen landscape home, ready to freeze any and all who dare trespass. Oh. So that's okay. So that's all one fast travel. Set of signposts. Good to know. Okay. Let's uh, move on. Earth bomb. Level one received, actually. Oh no, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. We're good for now. Ooh. Ow! That was unfortunate. There we're good. He's getting one hit, which is all nice. Whoop. Ah how Maybe we should dodge them rather than just taking it in the face. Or more likely getting Garu to take it in the face. Whoa. Hi, hi. Ow. Ow. Pain. What? Doink. Okay, so far so good. What? No, you don't. Ta da. <clears throat> Do you want to? Ow! I'll just take you from underneath. Nah. Hey, a trap. It is set. Oh, hello. Ow. We're good. Ow. Right, you. Whack, okay. Oh, we're still going, alright. Okay, alright, nope. Bonk! These are being a little bit more of a problem. Uh, oh no, he doesn't dash. He parries. Keep forgetting that. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> um, kind of. Right.
Hello, giant ice thing. Ice wall, huh? Seems solid. Think you can break it open, Guru? I c c can try. Yup. Nope. Too c cold. My hands are numb. Seriously? Hmm. Maybe it'll melt if we light a fire. You know, if that m magical girl was here, she she might be able to b b blow it open. Of course, Melor. Let's go back and see if she'll help. More party members. Good c c call. Let's get get back before I freeze to death. Okay. Quest clear. And quest fourteen: the search for a magical girl. Oh, of course. Right. Um, so let's just move back. I don't know why I moved back here, shuts at the signpost. Oh well. I'm already here now. Not gonna take long to run. Especially if I actually use the mobility options given to me. Is there someone over there? Lens Bandit's back again. Don't think so. No. Is he dancing? Looks like someone from New Never. Why would he be here, though? Did he get trapped in the explosion, maybe? What are you asking me for? Ask him! Hey! You over there! The way out is this way! He ran off? Maybe he didn't hear me. No, he heard you. Who he wouldn't hear you wallowing like that? Maybe he's found something back there. Alone? With fiends around? While dancing? Why'd you keep asking me? I don't know, he didn't seem too bothered, did he? I suppose not. Maybe he found some treasure and was just really happy about it. Anyway, stay focused. We have to find that magic kid and get her to blow open the wall before the bandits come back. You're right, no time to worry about it now. Let's go get Melor. <clears throat> he says as we now just uh, save. And just for the sake of it, just check to see if he's actually, you know, he looked very enchanted to me, but you know. Uh, there's definitely no like side quest man. Let's just double check mind. Yeah, no no side quest man here. Whee! Okay, to the farm side men here, and there's all our haul, ah we didn't catch anything from the trap haul, uh, of course we didn't, right, uh, um, plaza first, because oh look there's Gerhard, hey you there, any idea where I can find Gokto? Nope, where could he be? I've put so much effort into collecting these signatures. Signatures? Yeah, yes, I'm Gerhard, an advocate for lowering the explorer's tax. To that end, I've been collecting signatures for a petition. Well, that's a great idea. Can I sign too? You can, but unless I find Gotto and hand it to him, it might as well be a blank page. Well, I'll go look around for him. Oh, goodness, I can't shirk my responsibility. It's fine, you just need to give it to him, right? Fair enough, right, oh my god, more. Right, an ever-growing assortment. Oh, we need bronze ore. There, we can do that one. That's easy enough. Uh, rub it on 2nd Street. So we got... So there's a lot of stuff, actually, to get in 2nd Street. So, we'll do that. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we'll pick up the stuff from Second Street because that's easy enough to do. In fact, it's all in Second Street apart from Preta, which at that point, that was the interior, wasn't it? Okay. Hey, you there? Me here? Sorry to ask, but would you mind picking up my sharpened knife over at Tatara's? Say the name Preta and he'll know what, you, what you're there for. Sure, no problem. Okay, right, now to Outlander Lane then. Because we can go speak to... Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, got Toe. Oh yeah, we need you for the main quest, we might as well... Hey, got Toe, you haven't seen Melor anywhere, have you? Melo? She went into the barrows with a pack of adventurers. She what? A bunch of them ventured down to clear the rubble from the entrance. Melo felt her magic might be useful, so she tagged along. Redemption is at hand for Melo, ardent defender of love and justice. She said. Then she ran off. Well, if there's anyone who can make light work of them rocks, it's her. Of course, if she blasts through with a bunch of adventurers in tow, they'll get to the men here first. Do you know any other sorcerers? Do I look like I spend any more time around brats like that than I absolutely had to? You'd think a mercenary would have more friends. We wouldn't be in this mess if you could say no to stamps. What's going on over here? Seems like this pair are in the market for a sorcerer. Care to lend them a hand? The acting mayor can use magic? No way. Told you to keep it quiet. Did you? This old mind of mine must, start, must be starting to show its age. Hmph. It's true, I can use magic. Unfortunately, I know not from where I got the gift. Well, that's... True rarity, this one. Born with it. Got two! <laughs> sorry, sorry. <sighs> I cannot quite control it. So whatever it is you need, I can't guarantee that I'll be helpful. You were born with it? I didn't know it was possible for humans to use magic without lenses. I've never heard of it either. She's not a monster or something, is she? Look, a monster is fine too. We just need someone to get us through that wall before Melor and the others beat us to the lens. I'm no monster. Please help us. We really need your help. What you need is some manners. Look, we don't need you to do anything crazy. Just come with us through the teleport stone to the snow peak, use your magic to blow open an ice wall, that's it. I'm sorry, but as acting mayor of this town, I cannot be seen to be playing favourites with visiting adventurers. Who's going to tell them? Not me. I'm afraid I must remain impartial. Okay, okay. How about we agree to pay 50% explorer tax? Wait, wait, shut up. Don't... 70. 55. 65. Er, 60. Done. I'll help you. I appreciate your generosity and your tax money. Great, I think. No, not great, mate. Very much the opposite of great, mate. <laughs> well, what other option was there? We can't do anything without a sorcerer anyway. <laughs> I'm quite sure you'll find enough treasure to make it worth your while. If you didn't, well, that would be unfortunate. For you. Too unfortunate, perhaps. Should you fail to find anything valuable, let's just keep it at 30%. How benevolent of you, your acting, acting mayoness. <laughs> oh god, this story. Right, let's get back inside them barrows and through the men here at the farm. Isha has joined the party! Achievement unlocked. And your tax money. Okay, so, Isha's unique skill, Isha can teleport upwards at will. Ah, right, okay. Quest clear! You do understand that means we now need to gear Isha as well. Ah, me, quest 15, breaking the ice. Oh yeah, while we're here, Gokto, the Outlanders have signed a petition for you. A petition? I'm guessing you're just a delivery girl then? Let me see. Oh, did you already know about it? Knew about it? It was my idea. Huh? 
I don't make the rules about taxation here. That's Isha's job. Then... My job is to keep the Outlanders happy. I suspect they've got more on their minds than they're telling us. Particularly those who've written their names here. Wow. You think of everything, don't you? Okay, so we can report back to Gerhard. There, uh, oh, Tatara. Hi, Tatara came up. He came here to pick up a knife for a lady named Petra. Or Preta, sorry. Huh? You did? Yeah, she asked me to swing by and get it. You probably shouldn't get too involved with her, but... Eh, here it is. Oh, and while here, Tatara. They're still hammering away, I see. Oh, hi, CJ. Yeah, I haven't stopped hammering in days. Getting so many orders, I can barely keep up. That said, seems like the monster situation is getting worse and worse. Been working on swords day and night. That's great. It certainly is not. My blades keep coming back chipped. Not exactly the mark of a good smithy. Don't suppose you'd help me out. I'm sure there's some better iron deeper into the quarry. Can't shut the shop to get it, though. Say no more. I'll go digging right away. Ah, while we're here, here's some huge ore for you. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, Tara. Yeah, all 20 seconds. It'll do nicely. That's some mighty fine iron, all right. Looks like I sent the right girl for the job, huh? Yeah, let me give you a stamp. A stamp number 40 in total. Level up. The smithy has new stock. Yeah. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah, we can keep going now. Right. So. There we go. Now it's your crystals. And, oh. Yeah, we can get this to rank 10. And stop. And Astra. We can do that easy enough. Astra rank 2. Astra rank 3. 4. 5. Ah, oh, keep it going. 6. 7. And stop. And now we haven't got the money for everything else. So we really should probably go to Second Street and just some... Like, pawn some stuff off. Oh, Bertrand. CJ, could I trouble you for a moment of your time? Me? Sure, I guess. Have I heard correctly that you often lend a helping hand to the denizens of this fair town? Uh, denizens? Well, yeah, I suppose I do. Then perhaps you'd do the same for me. Establishing my store here was a fine idea, no doubt about that. I am fortunate that my door has not yet swung off its hinges. I should like to expand my display shelves, but lack the materials to do so. Uh, if it's not too much trouble, no trouble at all. You have my gratitude. Sweet, we got the lightweight lumber from the Great Forest all that time back. I think I got everything you asked for. Well, it's, yes, yes, this'll do nicely. I knew you were the right one for this task, young lady. You know, since the moment we met, I saw great potential in you. I have a keen eye for... I hate to interrupt, but I've got places, I have places to be, so could I get a stamp, please? Uh, uh, of course. <clears throat> An official stamp of gratitude. Here you are. Boink. Stamp 11 on this book. Building montage! Oh, wow. Alright. Some display shelves you asked for. Construction of the weapon shop is complete. The weapon shop has new stock. Money. XP. Alright. As much as I'd love to go to the weapon shop and upgrade stuff, I think we've still got stuff for the smithy to do. Right, so we've got that. Mage's robes. I'll work on um, Isha's stuff first. Because if we can get Isha's stuff up, then I can start selling stuff that's not. You know, stuff from the Great Forest that's not useful. Um, so we can then you know, do stuff there like that. You know, the armor shop's probably also bloody got a quest, hasn't it? So, let's have a look in this weapon shop. Yeah, look at that. Triple S. And a load of money required, though. Yeah, I knew it. Frida. CJ, over here, over here. What's up, Frida? I went in, I went and took a super difficult order. Armor that's as tough as nails, light as a feather, and as easy as to wear as plain clothes, they said to me. Uh, Mithril. Does the armor exist? Not that I'd ever heard of, so I asked Hogan. Do you know those nasty bandits that have been around, seen around the town? Rumor has it, they're in possession of a pretty powerful cape. Now that you mention it, they do travel light for how well protected they are. My theory is that weaving some kind of fine metal into the fabric. 
I'm sure armor like that would be enough to fulfill this armor. Uh, armor order. Got it. We've got to take a look. So we need to obtain a bandit cape. Perfect. And let's have a quick look in the room quarter. Hi, Jashen. Oi, CJ. Need to borrow you for a tick. What is it? Would you believe someone actually had the gall to complain about one of my packs? Someone complained? Why? Apparently it ripped while they were down digging for ore in the quarry and everything in it was lost. Said they'd taken a hammer with them, but that shouldn't have made a difference. And you want to see for yourself, right? Right you are. Take this hammer, put it in your stow pack, and head on down to the quarry. I'll need proof that you travelled the same path they did, so be sure to bring back some ore. What do you say? Sure. Kind of intrigued myself, actually. Sweet. Okay. And Ilda. Oh, CJ, I have a question for you. Do you have an explorer's license? Yep. I've heard there's all sorts of slimes and earth monsters down in the quarry. Sure are, flying ones too. Nightmare. Well, I'm doing research on earth elements at the moment. Would you mind bringing back some samples from the monsters you find next time you're down there? Sure. Ah, I have those samples. <laughs> Got what you asked for. Thank you, you're a star. Nah, this is nothing. Let me know if you need anything like this again. Well then, uh, stamp time, I believe. Boink. That's 12. And the rune shop has leveled up. Which I really an earth rune level 2 received, okay. Right. <clears throat> it's all good, um, but still need to do stuff like the lens forge. We can't even we can't imbue level two runes in here yet, and we should really look at getting runes of the other elements so we can then move on through the dungeon. Well, hello, hello raiders. The raiding party of six from Nurse Kitty. Hi everyone. Welcome to me trying to uh, <laughs> pass half this stuff in this game. How is everyone? <laughs> hey, look. Look, everyone's, everyone's got a bit of nerd somewhere. Okay, so Lewis, uh, how can I be so careless? I should say, I read out text, but I don't do voices, and I really shouldn't really be reading anyway with the fact that I <laughs> took my throat out recently. Uh, what's wrong? Oh, hi. I'm Lewis. I'm a sorcerer. Okay, thanks for the exposition. I came here to have an accessory or two made by Squash, but, well, I seem to have dropped all my materials. Oh. Funny that. I probably found half of them by accident. Uh, want me to go look for them? Okay, really? Thanks. No. Damn. All that bronze. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. I like sort of that. You know, sometimes people have just got this on in the in the background. Of the, you know, so it makes no sense if you just skip in dialogue. <laughs> Not able to do Garu's accent. Um, no. <laughs> I mean, just the the occasional just the occasional mate doesn't really <laughs> tries a little bit more. I mean, so between between Garu and Hogan, um, I actually feel there need to be a little a little bit more Australian in here. But <laughs> you get what you get. <laughs> right, Elaine. Hey there, CJ. You headed down to the quarry by any chance? I sure am. You know what? CJ does help too much. I sure am. Trying to get there at least once a day. I spent most of my time this stream at the moment in a, in a, in a town. <laughs> then you've seen that lady lookout down there, I take it. Oh, the one with the sandwiches. She was pretty mad at me when I tried to get in without a license last time. Not surprised. Eh? You should have fed her a sandwich. Wait, is this a bribe? Well, to apologise, I wanted to give her something, but I realised I have no idea what she likes. Sandwiches! Of course. <laughs> Sandwiches? Yep, she's a hungry young woman. Oh, God. She reminded me yesterday I had to out loud stay om nom 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 nom. Yep, she's a hungry young woman. Had me bringing her food before, too. Uh, in that case, would you remind giving her one to her from me? Make sure you tell her it's from Elaine. Sure, I'll let you know what she says. And uh, squash. I got so many side quests. <laughs> ah, CJ. Hello, squash. Everything okay with your shop? You know what? I've not been in your shop since I bought one ring. 
Uh, shop is fine, which is precisely the problem. Fine is simply not good enough. I should like to expand my offerings. Are you going to take your little... Oh yeah, yeah, so um, yeah, we're sort of, uh, we, a bunch of friends have been around, did a bit of talking, and then one day they they visited for for a week. We we, we got on, you know, realised that this was going to be a thing to do, and then yeah, we just started, we just started streaming, we just take over and do whatever we, we can from there. Um, and... Hell, we just, uh, we just, uh... Ah, thank you very much for the follow. And, um, yeah, so we just, uh, stream whenever we want and whatever we want. Whatever works. Between RPGs, party games, and occasionally, uh, League of Legends, even though we are. And they will, they will agree with me on this. Absolutely average. In fact, probably, at some point below average but we generally have fun with it so it works <laughs> so um yeah there's there'll be there'll be something in the week that we do um and yeah it's just a, just a case of coming chill out and we just get getting and occasionally we do sort of other stuff uh duncan one of our canadian ones is sometimes i think he likes to punish himself at games, uh, so he's trying at the moment to do a run in uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses in maddening mode without, in his head, cheating and already completing the game at an earlier difficulty. So no new game pluses for him, so he goes ahead and does that. Alright, ah, squash. Sorry. <laughs> um... He recently tried to overdo a, uh, a Pokemon Sapphire run as well, um, went for a Nuzlocke, but gave himself a, an additional rule of no train. Um, sorry, trainer battles only. I keep saying no trainer battles. That would that would probably, well, it'd be impossible. <laughs> um, but yeah, he went for trainer battles own uh, train battles only, which to be fair, he got quite far considering the. The obscene amount of difficulty he put on himself. So, uh, yeah. Um, we haven't actually. I am not where. Well, I am intending to 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 get hundred heroes because I was using rising as a basis of. You know, I'll just keep going while we while we go. And I'll just uh, give a little bit of time to just go through the reading while we do it. Um, yeah, I was using Rising as a as a, basically a litmus test to see if I would enjoy 100 Heroes. And so far, yeah, this is, this is my jam. I'll, I will do this. Um, I can understand, because sometimes I do also to sort of check sort of discourse and you know, reviews into into games. I continue playing them anyway, regardless, but, you know, it's always always nice to get opinions and, and see feedback and stuff, and I know that there seems to be people's um, conception that the, the, this is very fetch quest heavy and side quest heavy, but now that I'm actually thinking about it, the more I think about it, for a start, this is a... this is que clearly a, um, a build-up, you know, into... 100 heroes it's a prologue it's it's designed to world build and set the scene oh nice see there's that you see there's there's my problem at the moment there's a couple of the games that i've actually that have actually come out recently that i'm sort of that i'm streaming on here are games that have so i've had kickstarters or um was it figs is it the the developer based kickstarter so recently I'm playing playing Soundfall, which is a rhythm a rhythm based twin stick shooter dungeon crawler game. And that was that was invested on on Fig for, for years. I found out about it when they surprise released it like a week and a half ago, and it ended up in my Steam recommendations. So I think I need to and this this is on me. I'm not as um 
you know, sometimes the stuff is just going to fly over my head and pass me by. Had I been around when the sort of so the Kickstarter was going on, I'd probably still still go for it. And Robert's about to scam me again, isn't he? Snake oil salesman. Um, right. So I have picked up. In fact, let's let's just quickly check here. Let's head to the plaza. The best way to <laughs> the best way to know whether uh, whether you've picked up virtually every side quest in the game is no, we have not. Oh dear. Uh, right, so Sarita wants an upgrade to the tavern. The residentialist district has got... Oh, wild game steak. Nice. So yeah, let's let's head back and I want to pick up all these and then we can just start just working on them, getting some money, start getting the upgrades and then get back on the main quest and do stuff. So residential in district interior. Let's Let's head there first. Ah, oh yeah, Preta. Here, have your knife. Sharpen knife that the blacksmith was worried about, <laughs> about me getting involved with you with. So here's your sharpen knife for you. Oh great, thanks a bunch. Yes, this should do nicely. You planning on cutting up something big then? You could say that. I'll have to catch him for... Oh no. Preta, your husband needs to be informed. He wasn't always like this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Here, have a stamp and be on your way. Have I have I become an accessory to murder? I'm going to take this stamp and sl Yeah, I was I was hearing that's that's that that the uh Sukoden come up. And again, that's probably one of those back back in the day that sort of passed me by as well. That's just not something I'd sort of going to but this yeah this is just some I think this this came up as news because the other thing I do is that you know I subscribe to Game Pass it gives me a lot of options to I've, I think I actually quite like stuff like some a lot of the games that we can choose if we don't just do a direct sort of investment in it we do pluck from Game Pass PS Plus Switch Online Humble Bundle you know the, the subscription services to go on there and it gives us, let's say, it gives us the ability to try games out, and then we can always add them and buy them to the library if we're all, you know, great with them. And think of, like, what's going on recently a lot more with the the idea of day one releases um, coming in. And it's, it has, that has allowed us to, again, play games that we wouldn't have known about, and that was an advertisement that came up. Um, it has reminded me that there is something, there is a... A game that's coming out on Switch and PC, which again is, is going to come up into ending up in my my jam of quite a lot of enjoyable different types of games, and it was a like a it was a murder mystery visual novel. The name eludes me at the moment. I'll have to go back and, and find out about it. But it was a combination of sort of a, the 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 age old battle royale style visual novel like. Dangan Romper, combined with a um, a bullet hell shoot 'em up, of all things. So sort of you go through and do your like a action adventure, like action adventure, your adventure game style point and click investigation stuff. Because the storyline is that you're a whole bunch of people accused of of major crimes, and you have to prove your innocence by going through a fun house full of deadly stuff, you know, just as you do. Um, but you're partnered with what they call an executioner, which is someone who would have been a victim of the crimes that you are accused of. But the way that you battle for your, you fight for your life and prove your innocence is to go through levels of bullet hell shooters. Which, to me, is just something that really doesn't usually gel together, and yet, it's something I'm interested in. <laughs> okay, so we're trying some meals here. Have you been listening to a word of said outlander? I am S uh, Shania. Sorry, I was, I was actually so busy talking about the other, other video games, I completely didn't. So how about this? I bring you one, and if it's good, you give me a stamp. Ah, right, so be this this will be the quest for the wild steak, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Wild, order a wild game steak from Sarita. I've got no money. 
Stop getting me to spend money on things, people. Okay, so let's go back to Outlander Lane. Right, Sarita. One wild game steak, please. Just in time, they're going fast. I'll have one for you in a bit, pet. And uh, while you're here, one sandwich, please. Yay, one sandwich on its way, pet. And you also have a, a quest. So I say, were you able to come up with new dishes in the end? Uh, one or two, yeah. Uh, most of them called for fancy equipment I don't have, though. Uh, so I've decided I'd like to upgrade this place. I don't suppose I can count on your help, pet. See, this one, I feel it's got a... Um, I just picture of having this sort of new castle YI pet. So well, of course you can, what do you need? First things first, we'll have to expand the cooking space. And the question for her, would she be north or south shields? If she's using pet a lot, I'd probably say south. There we go, there's a, there's a little bit of UK geography just randomly put in. Uh, first things first, we'll have to expand the cooking space. Could I trouble you to gather up the materials for that? Do I already have them? No. Okay, good to know. Right. Uh, was there something else in Second Street? I've got so many side quests I don't know what to do. You know what, I can always fast travel back to the plaza, check the bulletin board. I think one was actually in the town outskirts. Uh, oh no, they're at the farm. Cool. There we go. Well, I'll pick up all these quests, and this will at least give me something to do. More. Uh, ah, there's Ayrton. Oh, what's the point? Might as well just give up and head out. Oh, wow. Alright, Mr. Uh, Optimistic. You okay, friend? You look sad. Me? I wouldn't say I'm okay, no. I was a fool to think I could make it here. Time to pack up and head out. You're here! You're at the farm! Well, it's not for everyone, I guess. But is home really that bad? Of course it is. Well, then why go back? What can you do there that you can't do here? Now, you're right. You're right. Just like that book said. The whole reason I even became an, an adventurer. If you don't care where you're going, any road will take you there. Alright, thank you very much, Nurse Kitty. Thank you very much for the for the raid and the follow. And, uh... Have a, have a, good, have a good rest of the day. Or actually, Canada. So probably a good night. <laughs> I'll see you soon. How could I lose sight of that? I read that book over there and over and over, but it's just sinking in now. I lost the book in the barrows. That must be why my heart's not in it anymore. You want me to go get it back for you? Would you? Oh my, I'm Ayrton. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, but thank you. Wow, okay, so now we've got to find a lost travelogue in the barrows. Ah. Give our wheat. Free food. Right. Kamui? You're CJ, right? I've heard you've been dabbling in trapping lately, that right? Sure is. Pretty simple stuff, really. Get trap, set trap, wait, done. Simple. I've been trapping for 15 years, and you dare to tell me it's simple? You stand before the great Kamui. Uh, wow, I, I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, you can upset me all you want after you've earned my respect. Let's see what you can do. A challenge? Yes, I am in. I'll show you where to find it, so catch me a stag. Bring back the antlers as proof. Challenge accepted. Get large antlers on the snow peak. Right, well, snow peak is not where we're going due to go at the moment. Uh, back to the interior, because we need to hand in a sandwich. Oh, here are Shanae. Well, Shanae, would you like to try some wild game steak? Oh my, you actually brought it? Well, I suppose it'd be rude not to try it, at least. Munch, munch. Hmm, it is greasy, but it's well seasoned. No strange aftertaste. The flavour balance is nice, too. Hmm, rich and hearty. Juicy, but not undercooked. This was prepared with care. Oh, munch, munch. <clears throat> that didn't last long. It was good, right? Oh, card. Excuse me? Stamp card. Give it here. Yes. Wink. There we go. Stamp received. Hey, CJ's level 17. 
Sorted. Okie doke. Right. Let us... Um, oh, we'll rest. And then I believe we've got a sandwich to... I don't know if it's a sandwich we just need to give to Karina again. Let's, let's find out. Uh, one more time, yeah. And while we're also here, let's save. Right, let's go. Uh, right, quest. My god, there's a scroll wheel. Uh, so a meal for Karina. Yeah, give Karina a sandwich. Um, we've still got to find... Lightweight lumber. So we've got to go back to the Great Forest and get some lumber. That's fine. Uh, bandit cape. From somewhere. Never grow an assortment. So that's bronze ore. Yellow slime jelly. Again, huge ore. So we're going to have to do another run in the quarry. And then we have to go into the barrows. Yeah, there is a lot. Oh, yeah. Report to Gerhard. I completely forgot to report the quest to Gerhard. But we can do it now. Alright, here you are, Gerhard. I handed over the petition. Oh, thank you. Rotor told me it was his idea. <sighs> I told you I should have taken it myself. Well, anyway, there's stamp 15 of the gold card. And level up for Guru. Ah, nothing better to see on the bulletin board than the words "nothing here," to, uh, nothing to see here. Um, right, actually, while we're here, second street, we've got ourselves like another 10 stamps since we last. God, look at all of them there with their, please hand in your quest. Alright, so it's shield fragments now, nope, nope. There we go, bronze ore, times five. Hey, side quest can be complete. Which one of you needed bronze ore? Oh, both of you needed bronze ore. Wow, oh, boo. Alright, we'll go with Lewis first. I've got the materials you lost. Thanks. You're a star. And you're a stamp. Boink. Stamp received, XP obtained, and sorry Squash, we'll get you more bronze ore. We're going back into the bloody thing soon. Um, right, let me just quickly check quests. Check there isn't any to turn in. Nope, they're in progress. Sorted. Right. First place. The forest. We get us that lightweight lumber that we need. So, um, hold on. Maybe I should. Great forest quest. Uh, lightweight lumber. Go. Just one hit all these and we just test her. Uh... Ah. Okay. Flings them. Oh, hey. Ah, so she gets the circles around her, and that basically says how many, like, little bolts she can do. That. She don't need no axe. Though, what I should probably do is. Right. Got the lumber we need. Thinking half of the stuff in this stow pack we could actually sell. Like normal lumber. Yeah, just sort of try and gain money back a little bit here, cuz. It's not tough to say that we're broke. So, you know. Dash, dash. There we go. But, we've got our lightweight lumber that we need. For... Serena. So we might as well get... No, Sarita. We should get these out of the way as quick as we can, really. So delivery, delivery Sarita. Sarita. A thousand thanks, Pe. Have your stamp for your trouble. Wait till the adventurers see what I can make when these renovations are done. You'll get special treatment, of course. Yes. Can't wait. Okie doke. Alright, there we go. That's uh, 17 stamps on the gold card. Building montage. 
Wow. Alright. Construction of the tavern is complete. Tavern has new stock. 1500 back were received. Thousand XP obtained. We're getting money. Which means if we're getting money, we can look at upgrades. There we go. Yeah, Guru. Have that. Oh, you can have rank 11. Ah, oh, no shock wings though. That's fine. Alright, Mage's Robes. We've got that shield fragment. Sorted. Cross grass. Sorted. And now we need an Azure Crystals. Glow Shrooms. And. Now we need shield fragments again. Which thing we get from the. Alright, and now we're broke again. Perfect. Okay, so now we got that. Let's head to the quarry. And this is probably where we're going to be sort of farming a little bit. Hi, Karina. Hi, Karina. Elaine asked me to give this to you. He did? For me? Wait, why? Uh, he said he made you pretty mad before, so he wanted to apologise. Oh, that Elaine. He tries to get into the quarry without a licence. I don't think I was that mad about it, though. Well, enjoy your sandwich. Okay, so we can turn that back into Elaine, but we'll do that. A little bit further on, we're going to go and investigate the quarry a little bit. Boink. Boink. Look at that. Hey, okay, so we got the huge ore. Or was it the slime jelly? I think it might be the jelly. What am I doing? An attack upwards. Just, just rock that. Oh, you don't have a shield. That's unfortunate. No shield fragment for you. I've got an ogre horn, though. <clears throat> Wee! You know what also helps? Hitting pots and gaining back with that way. Alright, so bronze ore was in the room that we sorted out over here, isn't it? Oh, God. We get the poison. We get the poison things. Right. Aha! We've got the slime jelly we need now as well. Perfect. Right. And now. Bronze ore. All sorted. No! Oh. Wasn't the smartest, but it's fine. All bronze ore everywhere. Money. Set trap. Ow. Let's attack upwards. And then we got our run here. No. Cheekier. Right. There we go. I think that. Oh, there is also a travel log in here, isn't there? That we need. So they're all ready to complete. Uh... Oh no, that's the barrow, so that's fine. What is. Oh, we still need bronze ore. We need, still need a lot of bronze ore, actually. That's unfortunate. And a bandit cape. Right, well, we know we can get bronze ore just in the place. We just need to find a bandit cape. Right, further down in the quarry here have... More bronze ore? Well, there's another trap. Got that, at least. Oh, amber crystal. Ow. 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 Oops. Deepy deepy dee. Right, well, we're not getting bronze ore down here, are we? So. Keep an idea on where we are on this as well. Got some glow shrooms. Aha! Well, 
Got that shield fragment, so that's sorted for um, Isha. Okay. Now, what you're doing? Oh. I mean, sure. I don't know what why I would need the link attack there, but. Getting huge ore. Not actually getting bronze ore though, which is. Point. Yeah, have that, have that. Right. Maybe in case we've got to reset it. It's going to be unfortunate, but you know. Whoops. Still need to. Uh, I'm getting back where I'm getting stuff that we can just like stuff we don't need to sell. Oh, hello, monster fossil will will go for a pretty penny. Two monster fossils will go for a very pretty penny. Oh yeah. Um Hold on. Well that's a charge attack, yeah. Alright, you're annoying me, so get out. Oops. Got an idea here. Uh, nope. Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. Oh nope. Okay. No. Okay, it was worth a shot. I assume I have to get that some other time. Right, let's go this way. Gets further into the quarry. There's a signpost and another trap. You are not what we need, though. Ow. Well done. Ow. So they've been the smartest here. Okay. Do we have. Does the, the rune place sell a water rune? It might do at some point, but you know. Eat it. Ow. Hi. Okay, you're all done. Good. Okay, so there are two places down here. No, you don't. 83 in our stow pack as well, so we should probably consider heading back. Getting a huge ore, which is all fun again. Now that one requires another. Right, we're at 91. We're gonna work and just head back to the signpost. We've we've got a lot of stuff, so now that being said, excuse me, we've got a golem to take on. I mean, what level is he this time? Twenty still? Cool. Oh, 
Oh, oh so close. Dropping down here. Oh, ow! No, you don't. You have a big rock at your face, though. That's. Ah. Bonk. Fall down. That's like a giant stone. It'll be used and at least provides money. Right, let's get out of here. We've got a ton of quests to turn in now. Oh, we got a meat. One solitary meat. Well, that sucks. Right, anyway, actually, I'm going to go and, going to go and take a break. It is uh, stand up and stretch time, so I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Okay. Whoop. Camera. Thank you. Better. Right. Time to turn in a metric ton of quests. Where do we need to head to first? Let's see. Second Street, Room Quarter, Second Street. 
No, these aren't. There's only three quests complete, but still. Uh, right. So mainly Second Street to turn some of this stuff in. Here you go, Elaine. All done. She said she wasn't really that angry, though. Really? Maybe I was just being sensitive. Thanks for your help, though. Here's, here's a stamp. That's 18 on the gold stamp book. Hey, level 18 for Guru and CJ. Sorted. Robert, sorry it took so long, but here you go. Wow, you actually did it. With this, I can learn how to make fortifying potions. So if you'll just sign here, I'll get you that stamp. Sign? Well, sure, I guess. First time I've had to sign for a stamp, though. Is this a new rule? Thanks, and nope, no rules. This is proof that everyone's favourite adventurer, CJ, kindly contributed to this new potion. The last one you sampled from me sold out in minutes. I'm betting this will, too. Nah, I don't get it. Pretty convincing performance, wouldn't you say? Hehehe. <laughs> Shove one of those potions down his. Anyway, that's 19 stamps. And building upgraded. The construction of the apothecary is complete. Yeah. Did the things. And then. Which is complete. Oh, yeah, room quarter. Which means, once we get this stamp, we can head back to Hogan and trade in another thing. Uh, here you are. Did you ask, but the pack seems fine to me. I knew it. What was that fool talking about? There were a lot of pointy rocks down there, though. Pointy, you say? Yeah, maybe it's all one of them. Very unlikely they split open from the inside, right? Ah, you have a point. Boom, boom. Don't suppose you can make the exterior stronger? That's exactly what I'll have to do. But first, a stamp. Yay! 20 stamps on the gold book. Okay, and the bag maker has new stock. More money, XP, it's great. Yes. Oh yeah, this is the resource pack and the, uh, the stow pack level 2. That's what we'd like. Stow pack would be cool. Alright, and in this rune shop, so yeah, ice rune, which we need the azure crystals from, so we can't do that yet because we're not going we're not going far enough through the uh the thing. We still need that. We still need silver ore from the quarry as well. Most likely. Right, anyway, that's that's them. The question is, which of these dungeons contains a bandit? I mean, we still need to go into the quarry and get one more bronze door. We'll, we'll do that, though. And then we've got to go to the barrows, and then the snow peak is where we're aiming for anyway. So he's not in the great forest. Uh, maybe they're in the barrows. That might be... Might be a thing. Uh, so we need to go to the farm side men here. We've explored 100% of the new never, so uh, it's not in there. It's not in there, unless he is in the, the thing. Right, anyway, so we've got a travelogue to get in here, so let's. Uh, there. Okay, it's to the left, actually. Alright, that's fine. Whee! Whoa! Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Ow! Electricity! Oh, no. Ow! Ow! Can't switch while I'm doing it, either. Okay. Git. You know what I also haven't done? I haven't rested. But that's fine. That's absolutely fine. As we go and find ourselves a book. Whoop. Yeah. Whoop. 
Bam! We're getting these shock wings for upgrades as well. Oh, hi. Okay, you're level 30. Eat it. Well, it's level dead. Might as well finish this. The map off though, right? Okay. Whoop. So we got that. And we need to head back to the quarry. After a rest. Because I've screwed up. So back to the residential district where we rest, we can then turn in this quest and then head back to the quarry. Then we can have a look and see what, what upgrades we've got from there. So just keep upgrading, everything will be fine. Okay. Oh yeah, 50 stamps. We should also head back to the... Um, I think back to Second Street. Say hello to Hogan and see what we re reward we get from him for 50 stamps. Alright, Hogan. So, 50 stamps gets us five small pelts. Sweet. Okay. Now, back to the farm. We can turn in the thing to Ayrton. Here we go. The lost that lost travel log. Is that it? Yes, oh my goodness, that's it. If you don't care where you're going, any road will take you there. That said, the right road won't always be available. Stay put if you have to. Bit of a contradiction, but alright. Here, thanks, CJ. Here, take a stamp. 31 of the gold stamp book. More XP and, and, and stuff. Right, so we've got the quarry to do, and then at that point, all that's left that we can do is go to the snow peak. So let's get ourselves that bronze ore. And then we can move on, yeah? In the normal ore, we could we could really sell. I really should get round to selling stuff, even if you know, there is a explorer's tax of 30% of everything. Excuse me, give me the stone wing. Huge oars. It's good. Ah, uh, oh. I was trying, I was fighting as hard as I could to try and uh, not have that rock hit me and then just completely messed up. Right, anyway. Right, there's the bronze orb, but might as well pick the rest up. Eat that. In your own time, big poison cloud, thank you. Get salt. Get more bronze ore. Back where, oh, another monster fossil. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to be selling monster fossils for money. Hi, big fart cloud. Okay. That slime jelly. More money. Ancient scrap. Getting a lot of rarer items or more valuable items. A bit late now. 1336. Ah. Oh. God, more ancient scrap. There we go. Get ourselves some. Get ourselves some uh, ability to to have some sort of money on the side. I say money on the side. We've still got like all grades of weapons to get. They were just sort of missing back before. So. Whoops. Anything to sort of help what we're doing. We'll be fine. 
Right, CJ. Let's go. Oh, and also Guru and Isha. Didn't catch anything. Typical. Right, to Second Street and to Squash. There you go. Should be enough to make some shelves, I think. Oh, my thanks. This will do very nicely indeed. Allow me to stamp your card for you. Yay! Stamp 32! Building montage! Building montage! There you go. Construction of the accessory shop is complete. Yeah! Accessory stoppers, shoppers, new stock. Oh yeah, speaking of accessories. Uh, what was the, the prospector's earring? Ah, increases the likelihood of mining high tier stone and ore. Uh, find this pendant and uh, nothing for Isha. Sorry. Okay, right. I never actually even thought to see with a. Oh no, only only CJ has the as the room lens. Okay. Well, now I know that. All right. Can we get any upgrades in here? Oh, lightweight lumber for the pickaxe level 3. Alright, we're going back into the forest for that. Yeah, we're going to go back into the forest and get this stuff. While I'm also here, let's go to the pawn shop. Um, and let's see. So we've got stuff. No, small pelt is so needed. It's the stuff like giant branch, giant stone. We don't need them. At the moment, so any bit of backup from them is absolutely fine. Right, so it might be these down at the, the bottom that's the thing. It's a shame. These are not. Oh, it's the explorer tax, isn't it? The 60% tax. Ah, oh, God. Made the game more difficult for myself. It's fine, though. No, we're all good. There we go. That's money. Right, so first things then, to uh, to Outlander Lane, let's see what we can do about upgrading our weaponry. First upgrades, then see if we can just get like, skill upgrades. Yeah, there we go, Tanuki Champ Champions, level 12. Done. Now not available, perfect. Hunter Suit. No, oh, let's go for Mercenary Armor. Rank 9. Rank 10. There we go. Rank 11. Now blue slime jelly. Okay. And shield fragment. There we go. And blue slime jelly. So we're up to date on them. So that's fine. If we look at the weapon shop. We can. Yeah, upgrade. Astra. Oh, we need high purity or Okay. So Astra is now upgraded. So now she gets three. Oh, a name insert. Uh, hold on. Do do we have triple? No. And we've got double, so we should have triple somewhere. Oh, you'd think, wouldn't you? No, really? In that case, Astra of uh, of Infinity. Forget the fact she's only got three of them. Just, just don't worry about it. Okay, so the next one is the charged attacks. Okay, so we still need to go through the barrows to get those shock wings but we also want to get that lumber so we can get the yeah I know I know I'm trying to find your bandit cape we can upgrade the mage robe though so there we go unlocks hovering ah so okay sorted right so we're good on money at the moment 
can always pawn some stuff off later on down the line. Right, back to the Great Forest. We want to get ourselves a load of lightweight lumber. If we get that lightweight lumber, we can start unlocking the tools, get better stuff. So, hold on, if I bring out Isha and then... Oops. Oh, if I hold... Ah, okay. Boink. Nope, there we go. Yeah, you can see, like, these normal slime jellies are absolutely worth nothing. We are not using slime jellies. So it's sugar as well, I reckon. It's just, it's just trash that... Alright, we've got our lightweight lumber. We could do with more. Okay, let's keep going. Loot all of you. Stone and heavy stone. Yeah. Boink. All that loot. Hi. Ow. Ow. Seriously, I think I care that I'm taking twos. Twos. Mushrooms. More mushrooms. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Boink. Is there any way I've not explored it? Yeah, there's the signpost to the right. These are just normal crystals. Got it. Boink, boink. What's it called? Oh, hi. Wham. Give me. Give Ogre Horn. Alright, there's a signpost. Trap. Set the trap. Oh yeah. Wolfing. Right, free twelve hundred XP, you know. And of range and scrap. Ah yes, we can go through here now. Bonk. Hello. Level 15? Yeah, we're in sort of an area for this, I guess. Stone. Lumber. Ah, hello. That bandit cape we were looking for. Yeah, it's out here. Some herbs. More sugar. Oh. Boink. Okay, and then on. S Ow. Okay, and then. Nice little uh, forced encounter. More stone and heavy stone. We've got gargoyles out here now. As the mobs now suddenly become level 17 and 16. Get out. Ow. Oop. No point in the link attack there, but let's set this trap, and then what's in here? Earth rune level 1 received. I mean, sure. Hello, bandit. Goodbye, bandit. 
Sorted. One bandit cape received. There we go. And so upon trying to get lightweight lumber, we've actually ended up with a bandit cape. Uh, there's still another bit of the main area to go as well. Uh, don't think we can go left. I think in the forest cave. I don't think we can go left because I'm sure that's uh, blue pillar. I can always double check. But you know. Now we just chill and do the thing. Actually, best way to do that. Fast travel to the forest cave. It'll be down here and to the left. Yeah, it's a blue one. Okay. It's good to know. What are we on? 76 of 100? Yeah, I think we can get the rest of the stuff out of here. If anything... Whoops. What I can do is just head back to the front. Just to make sure. And then we'll just turn it in and go back. Oh no, didn't catch anything. So we want Forest Cave again, and then we'll just go right. Hey, level 19, CJ. Oh, crap. Nuts and sugar. And that, and Titan Nectar and Lumber. That's not what we need. Lightweight lumber, absolutely fine. More than happy with that. Get out of here. Normal lumber again. Nuts. And then uh, it's time to take on this gigantic tree again. Ow, I actually got hit this time. What? Yeah, you coward. The by worm. <coughs> and a giant branch for our troubles. Still can't get in there. I don't remember what's round here. Oh, this is the fishing hole, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. Alright, back to the forest approach. Got that. Now, who do, where do we turn light as a feather to? Rita. Okay, cool. Rita on Outlander Lane! Hey, look at this. This town's starting to look really nice. Well, the uh, smithy could maybe do a little bit more. Weapon shop. Look at it. So massive. Frida, you're going to get a better weapon, uh, armor shop, aren't you? This is all I managed to get from the bandits, but maybe this is what you were looking for. That's it. That's it. Light as a feather and tough as nails. You lot will be nigh on invincible now. Us? This was for us? A gift from Gokto, you could say. He was adamant I make it my best piece yet. Oh, here. Take your stamp before I forget. There we go. Another stamp. And a level up. The armor shop has new stock. Money, XP, everything's great. So we still can't uh, get what we need yet, but that's fine. 
Right, to the tool shop. That's actually a weapon shop. No, we're still... Yeah, we're still missing what we need there. Smithy, definitely not. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, on to Second Street. Go to the tool shop and see what we can buy. Go, and pickaxe level three. There we go. And trap level two. There, so we're all up to date on that. We're pretty much up to date on everything. Um, I say we can't buy the water rune yet, so the ice rune. So, all right. So for the farm side men here, we go to the rune barrows and then we signpost to the snow peak ascent. Alright, let's go. Oh, no. Ow. No. Can't forget about that. Should actually do that, really, shouldn't I? With V show, we've got the um the range advantage. Whoops. Don't. Rock. Ah, no. Sorry, Guru. Keep getting you to take all the hits. Wait. Right. Ow. Stupid plant thing. There we go. Aha! A shield fragment. And the trap is set. Oh, hi. Okay. Ow. Still got hit. Typical. Oh, I'm in the wrong way, damn it. Unlucky. There we go. Getting that blue slime jelly, mind. Ow. What we need. I'm getting the stuff we need for our things. Well, Isha, you're up. Both of you, stay back. Nice. You did it. Whoa, you're pretty good with that stuff. <laughs> A dancing man again. Is that the guy we saw in the barrows? Father? Father? Father, wait, Father. Father. Oh, was that really your father, Isha? Must have been an illusion, no? It was no illusion. I've never seen him dance like that, but it was definitely my father. Didn't his search party disappear three months ago? Yes. So, how is he alive, then? Garu! Come on, that's a perfectly reasonable question. Why Why did he ignore his own daughter? Why not come home if he's alive? Feels like more at home in the snow mountain, does he? I don't know. I don't know, so we'll have to ask him and find out. I beg you, both of you, please help me. He's the only family I have. Isha. Hmm. 
suppose we will, and I won't let Garu say a bad word about it. Oi, what's that supposed to mean? Come on, I'm losing him. No time to waste, Isha. Thanks. Let's go find your dad. Main quest complete, then. As we move on to another main quest. 16. After the mayor. Let's go. Right. Oh, wow. So many places to explore here at this point. Oh, Ew, just... Okay. Uh, what? Ow! Ow! Stop it! Okay. In icy wings, shiver caps. Everything you need! And while we're. Oh, really? Alright, fine. Now here we get oh, bronze ore. Hmm. Oh, hi. Yep, oh, out. Unlucky. Right, so Isha does that. Okay, Ice Magic Vestige and Nivius Crystal. Okay, so I get a feeling this is this is partially where we need to be going. Right. Even if not, get that out of the way. Open up, Defense Ring level 2, and more Bronze Ore. Bonk. Mushrooms and stuff like that. The main thing we're probably looking for here is another signpost. We have found. It's a healing potion level 2. Oh, hey! Okay, so. Uh, this is one way. It's a trip. Hi, ah, it's a Yeti! Whoa! Boom. I'll start with the traps. We've got Yeti Whisker, we've got Lapis Lazuli, we've got Azure Crystals. This is stuff that we're going to need to be used to start leveling up our gear, so actually quite fine. Right, so we had our way back this way. Let's set a trap while we're here. There we are. Whoop, aha, uh -huh. okay. Okay, I've got what we need to do here. How far does that go? Okay. Whoops, I may have done the double jump a bit too late there. No. Okay, I guess it was just slightly out. Unless I can hover with Isha during that double jump. Right, so we do that. Ah, no. Okay. It was worth a shot. We just can't get there just yet. It's all good. Right, so now that we've explored the bottom area there, let's try and go up one. Explore the next area, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, so we go up here now. Bonk. There we are. It. 
And with some more bonks, we are all good. Right, so this takes us... Right, so this is the upper area, but we've got our signpost, so... I'm actually going to take us back to the Ascent. In fact, actually, fast travels, it's Barrow's Arch. That gets us the farm side menu. Take that in, see what upgrades we can get. Yeah, I didn't catch anything. That's a shocker. <laughs> feel we were getting a little bit hit there. Right. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Sorted. Okay, and then the Astro of Infinity. Which now has that. Keep enhancing. We enhance what we can get. Um... Still not got the high purity ore anyway. We've only got one Yeti Whisker, so we'd need another. Uh, those Azure Crystals we can use next time. And then Frida and the Armor Shop. Yeah, we can upgrade the Magic Roads now to get free teleportation. Like, yes please. Nice, right. And now we're short on the... Oh, we're short on thing again. What's it called? Moolah. Yeah, Moolah. Bakwa. Alright. Let's look at this. So, level 1 stuff. We're really not needing Titan Nectar anymore, yeah? Definitely not needing Gargoyle Wings anymore. So where I can go backwards to just 36. Yes, perfect. It's just extra stuff. Um, worm skin? No. Actually, that being said, let's just go for the stuff that we know is important at the moment. Ancient scraps, we know we don't need it. We do know we need that, though. So it looks like basically the valuables stay at the bottom. So that's... That's fine. Right, it's a little bit of it's a little bit of extra money for when we do actually get around to needing it. Um, main thing though is getting those Azure crystals. I think that's the yeah, and I think we're pretty much sorted with uh, CJ for now. Definitely sorted with Pinky for now. Brudian crystals, so we can still get blue slime jelly. That's fine. And Azure Crystals we can get there. And then it's the Yeti Whisker for, for what's-his-face. Right. It's back here. To the Rune Barrows. Signpost and fast travel to Yeti's Crossing. Seems like the right place. Um, and we can head back. Actually going to fall down. Oh. go. There. Getting okay, what we need here, right, so, ow! No! Ow! Went, fell too far. Ow. It's fine. It's alright, we know what we're doing. Climb up again, and next time we just know to fall in the right direction. Hell, this is just getting us what we need anyway. Ow. And if it needs to be, it just means we get more armor. Level ups also help. Right, let's try this again. Did it. Ward ring level 3 received. 
Oh, we can't go that way anyway. It requires a lightning rune. Oh well, good to know. It's all fine. So we can save here. We haven't actually saved for a bit there. Wow. Well, we have now. Okay, there's another healing potion level 2. Hi, Yetis. Oh god, you're big ones. Were biggins. There we go. There's the whiskers. So we can get next time we are back to town. We can get uh, Garu's new sword. Oh, we got ourselves another um. What's it called? Right. Let's let's think about how we do this. Yeah. There we go. Opened. This actually takes us back to the rune barrows. And another signpost. Interesting. Alright, off we go. Let's keep going for this mayor. Oh. Hold on. Get out. More shock wings. So lightning mages. They're gonna give us lightning vestiges, I guess. Oh, ancient currency. Hmm. Oh, look at that! It's just like two separate bits of map. It's fine though. All right. Open this chest. Healing potion level three received. Get out of here, Jelly. Okay. Oops. I'm trying to double jump with Isha, and that's not how we, this, this works. Ah, Viridian Crystals. More Ancient Curry. Curry? Ancient Currency and Curry Powder. Ow. Bonk. No, you don't. Get out of here, giant ogre thing. Obtained an armor shard. Hey, more Viridian crystals. Wonk. Get back here. Oh, Isha's level 20. Perfect. Trap set. Uh, up or down? That's the question. Oh, I've got some wild veg. Okay, so that takes us into the... The room barrow's further. Another chest. Healing potion level 3 received. Okay, probably don't want to be there. We'll go down. So CJ's going to be getting some level ups of weaponry and stuff in here. Uh, bronze or not what we need. We need the silver, really, for CJ's rune lens. Oh, rune shard. Need those Azure Crystals. Yeah. Some point, so we can unlock the blue crystal areas. Right. No, you don't. Oh. We're good. Right. More Bronzor. 
More Viridian Crystals. Fragrantelli. Crap set, and that's a green. Could be a wind totem, so that's fine. Totem. Elementum pillar. Whoa, alright. Alright. Get down there. Link. Sorted. Okay, and how do we get? Well, I guess we don't. I guess we're not getting up there. I guess the place with level 25 thing is the next place. So we still need to find another signpost. But I guess we're going to take on that weird thing. Should be fine. I mean, we're taking on quest mobs that say they're level 30 odd, so you know. I'm sure, we'll be fine. Dodge the. Okay. Yeah. See? Fine. Get some golden rubble out of it. Set another trap. I mean, that being said, once we find a signpost, I'll say if we find a signpost, I guess. Oh. Go up. Aim up. There you go. If we actually have a look at where we are. Aha. Oh. Aim up. There we go. Boink. There's our chest. Ordering level two received. Speaking of that, equipment. Uh Accessory one here, have a ward ring level three. And have a vitality ring. There we go. Alright. There's only one only one way through, so whoops. Hold on, CJ. There we go. Not Aisha. Or Isha. Oh, it's just a mining node. Still, mining node is good. Bronze ore. I say, want us to find a signpost. We are not find. Oh, there is a signpost here, and okay, healing potion level three received. Right, we got what we need. So I'm gonna head us back to the signpost. Uh... Back to the farm side menu. Choice meat received. Right, so we got a bit of extra stuff here. So I'm going to go to the rune quarter. Just for a start. Let's have a look. Rune shop. No, oh, I'm still missing the five azure crystals. So we need to farm up in there. Okay. And then let's get us to second street. And that ancient curry seems to got to go for something. Even with a 60% tax. Surely. Yeah, 1200 each. Alright. Go. 3600. Keeps us, keeps us going. Anything in the tool shop? No. It's all not available. Uh, get us back onto Outlander Lane. Go to the weapon shop. Aha! There we go. The SS version of Tanuki of Champions. So now he can do... Garou can do... Up and down attacks. And then the armor shop. Nothing. Perfect. So it's all like silver ore now. That's fine. So what we can do now... Um, I'm going to go rest actually. 
always keep ourselves going. Oh my, there is um, side quests as well. There. <laughs> that that actually might help us get our our stuff needed. Oh dear! Right. Hey, okay, save complete. Might as well pick up these quests. No point in going back to the board to know, am I? Right, Tanvi. You, you there, Psst, girl? What's up? I'm Tanvi. I've seen you talking with Mr. Bird. Are you guys close? Could you pass this letter to him for me? Mr. Bird? Oh, you mean Squash? Yeah, Squash. He's so elegant. I want you to give him a letter from me. Uh, sure. I can do that, I guess. Thanks. And then uh, Lalisa. Are you CJ? The same CJ who will do just about anything for stamps? Well, I won't say anything. Fancy running into you. The name's Lalisa. <laughs> a pleasure to meet you. I've just finished this fur coat made for my mother. Would you take it on over for to her? Fur? I don't suppose you got that from Navia, did you? Oh, you know Navia. She's my daughter. Too busy collecting furs to help around the house, so I decided to make the most of it. How do you know her anyway? Well, I won't say I know her exactly. Well, I reckon you know my mother too, then. Uh, Shania, heard of her? Oh, the angry, uh, hungry, the hungry lady, right? <laughs> yeah, I know her. Ah, <laughs> so you've suffered her wrath too. Makes sense, I guess. She doesn't take kindly to Outlanders. I can bring this to her anyway. No problem. Fantastic. Thank you, CJ. Alright, back to the plaza. Let's see how many bloody missions are going to end up on this list. Here it is. Oh, alright. Fortifying the forge for Jog. Alright, now we can do that. Um, we've already got everything we need. So this is pretty much easy street so far. Right, green quarter. Gets a little bit more money as well. Alright, Jorg. Hello, CJ. Your timing couldn't be better. Why's that? Well, far be it from me to seem ungrateful. It is because of your generosity that I was able to open the forge after all. Unfortunately, this facility is not exactly in tip-top shape. In addition to being generally unpleasant, some mysterious force appears to be interfering with my work. I should like to fortify the building's foundation to start, followed by the walls. CJ, could I ask you to gather these materials for me? I will need quite a lot. I'm always happy to help with stuff like this. Leave it to me. Here you go. <laughs> All the materials. Truly, you're a force to be reckoned with. Nah, just lucky. I've been conducting some research and have discovered what I believe to be some kind of force field around this town. Force field? I believe it to be emanating from the rune barrows. Nothing I can't protect myself with, uh, from these with these materials you brought. I do words. You have my deepest thanks. I must admit, I am curious about the effects of this force field on the people who dwell here. I would suggest you take care of yourselves. Effects? Nah, everyone here is fine. Boink! Stamp! Stamp received. And level up of the building. Money, XP, all the usual. Still need that silver ore though. Right, uh, to second street. To turn this letter into squash. Why from this side? Damn it. I've already sold the ancient currency, haven't I? Yeah. Alright, squash. Hey, squash, one of your fans asked me to give you this letter. A fan? Oh my. Wow, that's really something. Is it supposed to be you? Yes, I do believe this is a portrait of me. This fan is clearly a person of considerable talent. They captured my shimmering shininess perfectly. Oh, so that's what that is. Please tell this fan I would be delighted to be gazed upon more of their art. Oh, sweet. Okay, uh, quests. So we've got the fur delivery. Oh, we're supposed to be getting large antlers on the snow peak. Ah, oh, whoops. Well, we can do that. We need we need stuff around there anyway, like azure crystals. Uh, right. Anyway, we report this into Tanvi. Um, hold on, this way. Residential district. Here you go. I passed along that letter you gave me. He said he'd love to gaze upon more of your art. He especially liked how shiny it was. <laughs> Squash called my art shiny. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like a stamp? You guys are kind of weird, but sure. <laughs> shiny. 
Uh, anyway, that's 25 stamps sorted of the gold book. So that's 55 stamps overall. Right, I'm going to I'm going to save and you know what? We can do another hour. So I'm going to be back in another minute or two.
Right. Just a little bit left to do now. Just under an hour to go. So let's do it. So what are we need to do? We need to take in a fur coat delivery, aren't we, to... Really? Literally down the path? Uh, well, there you are. Hi, Shania. Well, and that's Miss Shania to you, Outlander. Out with it. What do you want? I've got something for you from Lalisa. Oh, it must be the coat made from furs my darling little angel granddaughter collected. Thanks. Yeah, you angry, you're angry. I'm sorry, a hungry woman. Okay, just as she said, she seemed really happy admiring her granddaughter's handiwork. No surprises there. Hope she remembers to admire mine while she's at it. That's nothing to do with you, though, is it? Here, have a stamp. Boink. Stamp received and money obtained. Right, back to the plaza. Just double check that there isn't no surprise bulletin board stuff. Oh, cool. Okay, so now we need to head to the farm side menu. We need to head back to Snow Peak. And then I need to track the quest to acquire the antlers. Alright, let's do it. Into room barrows. Go back to the ascent. Okay, I guess it's not where we can where we can go yet. Alright. In that case, Azure Crystals. We need to build an ice rune. Oh. Ooh, nearly. Some more frost grass. Boink. That wasn't what we were intending, but it will do. Ha ha! Getting the combo sorted. Get what we need. Oh, ow! Well, there's a trap. Ow! To level up, that'll do. Ow. Okay. So we now need to head into the lower parts to get these crystals, don't we? Seems like a plan. So we want to go down. There's another trap. Get the crystals and then we can start getting the runes sorted. Ow. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, I should. Really? Isha. Let's go. More bronze or high. Ow. Oh, oh falling over. Right. There. Give me your XP. Give me your eyes, Mazic Vestiges. Go and get these Azure Crystals, shall we? Oh, 
all the crystals. There's another trap. Set. Boink. Boink. Shroom. More crystals. Take on the Shieti again. Goodbye. Right. There. More Azure crystals. Hopefully that's just give us enough <coughs> to build the ice room. Again though, not like I think that's the one that we actually need. Eh? Well, let's get ourselves to a signpost and see what happens. Never know, we might end up just accidentally getting large antlers. Lady, oh, there was another bloody signpost up there. I completely forgot. Oh well. Did he? -de Dee dee dee. That's. Ourselves out. Got all that. One meat received. No. Okay. Mm -mm. Right, anyway. Not what we were looking for, we were looking to get. Ooh. We're looking to get stuff. In particular, an ice rune. Perfect. All good. Alright, so the only other thing we'll need later on in the game will be another rune fragment, but that's fine. Now, actually, if we head back to Outlander Lane... Right in. Right armor shop, which... Mm, nope. Need all that silver ore. Weapon shop. Nope, need to hide purity or Or more Azure Crystal for the SS. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. It's a smithy. Hey! That being said, we can do that. And that. And that's not available anymore. And that. And there we go. Uh, oh, more Rajul Crystals. It's fine. Right. Now. Uh, okay. That's fine. I have an idea. We now basically have stuff unlocked in various areas. So if we have a look at the map for the Great Forest, we need to now go down a path in order to open up the blue thing. We might as well just try and explore what we can now. What well, it does mean we need to do, hold on. Uh, let's 
teleport ice rune level one into there earth rune level one into there there we go absolutely nothing from these guys anymore well I mean we do right. 40 XP XP is XP <clears throat> slime jellies can just be sold in fact probably basic lumber can be sold now and all have. Uh, right, so it's the next area. It's in the cave. I should have just been teleported to the bloody cave. Hi. Really? Is this your... your ambush? It wasn't sufficient. Say that. Aisha's... Uh, Aisha's... Hey, we're getting durable stone. Okay. I'm sat there trying to collect the, the coins the moment I open the chest. The coins are already out. Right. Of all the things you could have went and linked attacked, you did that. Is that a durable stone? Money and rare stone. Okay. Right. Down here now. Crystals, more rare stones. Okay. Now we can smash this. And end up wherever here is. Oh, level 21. Okay. Now. This is an area that is. Which ones are this suited for us? There we are. Oh, ow. Ow, seeds. More herbs and titan nectar and stuff like that. Okay, alright, wolves. Ow. That was some damage. Oh dear. Ow. Stop. Stop. Seriously. Stop. Okay. We're down. To Sylvan Crystal. Okay. Oh my god. Too mobile. That hurt. That absolutely hurt. Uh, anyway, stow pack. There you go, everyone have a, a heal. Rune fragment, that's what we want. Trap set. And in here. Ice rune level 1 we see. Oh, we just crafted a bleeding. <sighs> then again. Then again, you couldn't get... You couldn't get to the ice rune unless you crafted an ice rune. So that's that's fine. I'm not too not too forced. But ha but however, ow! That bleeding hurt. Right. So there is another path of that way to the right. I don't know whether that was a a blue one or not, though. We'll find out. No, you don't. <clears throat> Mine didn't even hit level 22 out of that. <clears throat> what we'll do, though, is save. No, don't want to fast travel. God, I missed our pack. 
has my resources, alright. Alright. Sound of a trap. And then we'll just destroy this level 8 wolf. Ebony pelt obtained. More ancient scraps, cool. There we go, get some valuables out of this. And round here. Whoop, ta da! Sugar, stone, heavy stone. I'm on 80, should have probably thought about. Space in the bag, to be honest, but. Ow! Still, some more herbs. More sugar. Rawr. Ow! Ow! Really? Game? Aha! Okay. I have to avoid the crafting stuff for now. Is that another trap up though? Oh, it's green. <laughs> oh, damn me. Okay, we can leave. So we've we've explored all the great forests that we can explore. We've got our ass handed to us for it. I mean, dear God, we really did get our asses handed to us. But on the other hand, we've now unlocked more of the map. So that's perfect. Get us into that signpost. Get the heck out. Rest again. Check one of the other bits. It'll be all great. Uh, back to the forest approach. Hey, you got a meat. Perfect, right. Now, let's sleep, because, dear god, that hurt. That's a point. We actually head back into the storehouse. Hold on. Uh, that's how we do that. Uh, ah, that's how we do it. There we go. Just, whoops, a daisy. Put them in there like that. There we go. Let's end the day. And then... Save again. Guess at that point we can look at... Right, main thing actually I'm going to look at is head back to the snow peak. Mainly because we still need those Azure crystals. And then, um. Also, see if we can unlock that area now. Right, so we start back at the ascent again. only place that we need to go actually a signpost back to Yeti's crossing I didn't see what color the I think it was a lightning one actually so I think I think at this point I can't continue until doing the main quest so I should probably actually go back and do it oh, oh dear
No. How dare you. Uh... Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, it is a yellow one. Okay, that's fine. Ow. So where was the area with the... So it was down here, wasn't it? Go get those crystals again. Which actually, while I'm here... Uh, attack element. There we go. Just Earth rune twice. No, in fact, ice rune in here. Cause that means CJ can take less damage from the ice stuff in here. Stuff, grab the stuff. There we are. Get rid of them. Still set traps. What? Oh, you hit the wall, didn't you? Damn. Oh well. Take on the Yeti again, get the other crystals round the side. Wow, alright. I believe the term is uh, get shit on. And, uh. We can level up. Maybe level up um, Isha's stuff before we go and. <coughs> Find the mayor. Uh, Hold on. Yeah, I have to go this way to get to the post anyway. Him we go. Okay, now we fast travel back to Barrow's Arch. Upgrade what we can of, um. Well, oh, of course, didn't catch anything. Shocker. Uh, head back to Outlander Lane. Upgrade what we can of Beach's stuff. I want to go particularly for the charged attacks first. There we go. Oosh, money. Pain. Crimson crystals, eh? Oh. Okay, so she can charge herself into whatever room she wants. Hmm. Alright, Smithy. Uh, oh. Done. Perfect. Right, let's do it. Let's go find the mayor. Grand Hall. Save. There we go. Hmm. 
There, Isha, over there. Baba! Baba, it's me, Isha. Baba, I came for you. Let's go home together. Yeah, don't even expect me to attempt to uh, read that. Let's just say, runic text. Baba, what are you... Uh, what's that? Could it be a rune golem? This thing is a rune golem? I'm certain. A four-legged colossus, just like the search party survivors said. Rap, get down! This... This thing. The town. Oi, you see that? A rune lens. And a bloody big one. Oh, okay, all right. Now how? Now. We did it. We got the room lens. Bigger than the last one, right? Nah, still nothing compared to my dad's. You can't be serious. Your old man must be some piece of work. Um, you okay back there? He vanished again, but I could have sworn he recognised me. Father, why? Like you said before, we'll find him, and you can ask him face to face. The rune golem was... A complication. But we'll get him next time. I wonder. I haven't told you why I came to New Nevo, have I? What? You wanted treasure, didn't you? Technically, yes, but that's not the full story. I'm doing my family's rite of passage. Rite of passage? Yeah, we have this custom. Once we leave home, we can't come back till we find a bigger treasure than our ancestors found. Fifteen years old, you're out the door, not to darken it again till you've got something shiny and massive to bring back. Because of that, we've gotten pretty good at finding treasures. See? So there's a reason she's such a nutcase. Who asked you? As I was saying, there ain't no treasure that my family can't find. So you have my word, Isha. I'll find your dad. Scavenger's honour. Treasure. I suppose my father is my treasure. Growing up with this magic and this hair... Everyone around me seemed unnerved. But my father always stood by me, even when no one else would. He told me this power was a gift from the land. He encouraged me to be proud of who I was. Of what I was. Sounds like a good dad. Yeah, yes he was. Is. My one priceless treasure. If I may, I would request something of both of you. Allow me to accompany you on your treasure hunt. I should like to find a treasure of my own. Of course. You don't even have to ask. Right, Guru? I guess babysitting two kids isn't different from, too different from one. What was that? I'll have you know my fam... Stop. Thank you. Both of you. Oh, wait. Here. You can have this room, Lenzisha. Me? You couldn't possibly... You found it, after all. Don't worry about it, mate. If you're going to be treasure hunting with us, we prefer you had the right tools. Understood. Thank you. I shall make good use of it. Ah, right, let's get to it, shall we? Upward. So we've got the rune lens, so Isha's magic attacks will change based on the type of rune lens she has currently equipped. And money! Money! XP! That's quest 16 done. So I guess we've got quest 17. The search begins. Let's continue on. In these rune barrows. Right, so. I guess in this we can. With Isha. We'll get her on the ice rune. And the earth rune. So if I want to destroy those sort of things. We can do it.
Aye. Onwards. Let's keep searching these room barrows. Oh. Hmm. Huh? There's something here. Another room golem? It is long since decrepit. Even if it was a room golem, it won't be moving anytime soon. Looks pretty lifeless, alright. Something else up there. What is it? A camera? Looks like a camera. Uh, I can't see it well. Gary, let me up on your shoulders. Fine. Come on. Yep. Huh? Just as a thought, there's an indent for a lens. It's lens powered, just like the men here. Nah, no good. The men here lens won't fit. Guru, have you got any more room lenses on you? Do I look like you're flipping fairy godmother or something? I know it's I know I called it a magic pouch, but I can't just pull whatever I want out of it. I only have the one I got in the forest, and I've never seen any. I've never ever seen. Ugh, I've never even seen something like this before. There we go. Get there eventually. Huh. We cannot use something we don't have. If we find a room lens that might power this machine, we can always come back. Guess you got a point. All right, let's keep going. Continue searching the room barrows for most likely for that lens. Level three potion. Oh, perfect. New men here. What the hell? Right, let's now. Yeah, let's do that. Do that. Like that. Uh, there we are. Got it. Ah, so we're at the Snow Peak Crest. This might be where we find our, our thing. Right, let's save. Whoops. Doh. <sighs> save one, please. Whoops. Thank you. Stagger saves. Anyway. So, now that we're at the crest, we more stuff around here. Boink. We're doing good. We're all good. Whoa. Nice try. And there's those azure crystals. Get all the crystals. Alright, what? Okay, let's just pop through here for a sec. Okay, so they both lead to the same place. Ow! Let's just uh No, you do not. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, got it. Set the trap. Means further up here. Have that. Whoops. There's something. Ah, okay. Made it. Whoops. There we go. Made it. Oh no, stay. Okay. Eat it. Stupid fly thing. Still there. 
Okay, so what I've succeeded in doing is finding Red Fingle, Pioneer's Pendant Level 3. More resources. Sorted. So we can now just drop to the bottom. Start from the beginning of the area. So we're at the bottom. <clears throat> Hello, purple thing. Nivea's crystal, sorted. Ah, ho, ho, ho. That was a punch. Hey, silver ore. Perfect. Whoop. That's what we're wanting. Boink. I mean, it's a silver ore, but silver ore, silver ore. And this is where we find our. Whoop. Okay, we're good. So, there's just one area on this, okay. This is our trap for our stag. Open that up, get some silver ore. Uh, go left first, I guess. Smash that. Ow, ow. Eat it. Get these crystals. More ore? Ah. Retus. Covetus. Os. Pendant. What? Hey. Ow. 178 is not a nice bit of damage to take. But anyway. Got ourselves a signpost. Hold on, save first. So, we got ourselves over here, that's fine. That means we can actually fast travel back to Barrow's Arch. Turn in the, uh, the quest, hopefully. Large antlers received, and meat. Alright, now let's, um speak to this trapper who was very very unhappy with us. <clears throat> Stag antlers as requested. No way. My my time is up. Oh stop. I owe this catch to the great Kamui, don't I? <laughs> don't patronize me missy. Here take your stamp and go. There we go. The 37th stamp on this card. No 27th stamp. I can count. Right, and now, head back to Outlander Lane. I'm sure there's some upgrades that we can get. Obviously, there's going to be some money that needs spending. Uh, not here, we've got all that. Oh, hi, Aki. Hey, CJ. Could I borrow you for a moment? Sure. Aki's the name. I'm a venturer just like you, except my gear got nicked by bandits on my way here. But, now that we have a smithy, I figured I'd get some new gear made. Of course, I'd need materials for that. Don't suppose you'd do me a solid and go gather it all together for me? Sure, just give me a list. Thank you. I need some seriously strong metal if you don't mind. What kind of equipment are you trying to make, anyway? Can't give away trade secrets to a potential rival, can I? Besides, I trust you with an eye for good stuff. How mysterious. Okay, but you better tell me when I get back. Ah, huge ore. Shocker. Uh, so like, what is the silver? What do I need the silver ore for? Is it the armor? Yes. I'm just missing the backward for it. 
Of course. Alright, that's fine. Uh, second street. Oh, hello, what happened to part of my face? There we are. Alright, I guess we've got some like valuables to sell. So, let's do it. Alright, ancient scraps. Let's go up to 800, that's fine. Rare stone. Something, isn't it? That's that's the thing. Certainly not enough to buy everyone things. So not great. Not great at all. You can get one person stuff. So you know. Right, what I'm actually gonna do is call it for today. Whoops, that's the plaza. Guess I could always look and see what side quests are around. Yeah, crops, 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 and a fine factory. Objective, find someone who doesn't look busy. Wow, okay. Well, I will work on them uh, next time I stream this, which will be Saturday evening. So, yeah. But for now, I'm going to save. Uh, no, rest, then save. Be clever. So we'll do that. And then, um, yeah. So, thank you for everyone who's come in and and watched. Uh, thank you for the raids, the follows, the chat, and keeping me company. It's all great. Uh, next scheduled podcast is due to uh, next scheduled podcast next scheduled stream is due to be the podcast we'll see how that goes um i keep test i keep testing my throat i don't know if i'm going to arrive a terry and the rest of the canadian lot were in the power grid issue due to a tornado yesterday so i don't know where they are on that the aim is to try and do it um at nine o'clock british summer time at 4 p.m eastern standard time and uh, failing that, we'll we'll try and work something out, I guess. Um, if it ends up having to be me doing it on a wee day one, so be it. But if there are any issues, uh, keep an eye on our Twitter. That'll be where the information will come from. And um, yeah, we will see you soon. Toodaloo.